Hi everyone, let's go over my bullish and bearish Elliott Wave scenarios on Bitcoin. Starting however with this high time frame volume profile where we now closed three weeks inside of this value area, increasing the probabilities that price will hit the point of control at 38.7k. It is common that after price enters a value area, it comes back to retest the value area low in this case for then potential continuation. So we have to look out for a potential backtest in this area, which also is a very important support resistance area, as you can see in general, which is sitting between 32.6k and 31.3k. If we then zoom in to the bullish scenario over here on the four hour time frame, then we are looking for an impulse to the upside since the 24k lows over here. In this scenario, we're looking for a wave one, two, three, four, and eventually a wave five. Inside this wave three, we can then label the sub degree impulse as a one, two, three, four, five, and the wave four of a higher degree, meaning the green wave four, tends to retrace to a wave four of a lower degree, which is the price action of this blue wave four, meaning this range, and that range is in confluence with the 0 0.236 and the 382, which are also targets for the higher degree wave four, pulled from the low of two to the high of three. Currently, we bounced on the 0 0.236 over here, but I gotta say that still, this being a wave four is very short in time, even compared to this being a wave two. So one of the scenarios I do keep an eye on is a potential flat, expanding flat ABC, where then price can reach the 382 Fibonacci over here at 33.4k, which is a common pattern in a wave 4 as well. Now the 0 0.5 is the maximum target for a wave 4 sitting at 32k, and an invalidation is the 618 sitting at 30.5k. If we then zoom in to this bullish scenario over here, then we're looking for a three-way structure to be finished in a WXY and now continuation to the upside to at least take this high over here. In this scenario, we're then looking for a double zigzag WXY where the final wave Y was a nice ABC to the downside, hitting the common target area for wave Y as well, which is between the 1 and the 1.236 taken from the high to the low of W to the high of wave X and now we then expect continuation to the upside either impulsively a five wave structure or a three wave structure because that depends on the scenario we're looking at on the higher time frame because if we are looking for this wave four to already be in over here let me actually label it in yellow quickly if this is a wave four then we are looking for a wave 5 to the upside in a straight line, right? You want to see a straight impulse to the upside for wave 5, reaching that golden target box that I've been talking about for so long now, 38.5 to 39k. However, if we think about the wave 4 not yet being in, so we get a longer wave 4 in time and then a flat structure, then we want to see a three-way structure to the upside. And then we get a move down for 4, a wave C and then continuation up for wave five ending then somewhere over there. Now, if I then talk about this scenario, this is what I mean. So in this scenario, we then have a WXY in a wave A, that's absolutely fine. Then we are looking for a three wave structure in a wave B where we do have some resistance above price. Now, of course, we have the double top over here at 37.5K, always interesting. It's like a magnet for price. But if we look above price at the moment, then first of all, we pass this white box now, 36.1, 36.4. And the next resistance area here is 36.7 to 37K. If price can pass this area as well, then I'd be looking for the double top. And if price does not reject at the double top, but just continues, the probabilities increase for this to be a wave 5 instead of a wave B because for a wave B you want to see at least a three wave structure to the upside. Now for this wave B the most common target is between the 1.38 and the 1.236 taken from the high to the low of wave A giving you a target between 38.7k and 39.2k after which we then expect an impulse towards the downside where we have as a target to two 1.618s over here. The first 1.618 is sitting between uh, or at 33.7k and the lower one is sitting at 32.1k and if we check that with the confluence of a wave 4 then there you go right the 0 0.382 and the 05 in confluence with that wave C area as well as the key area 
which is the high of this uh, gap over here on the one hour, which can definitely act as support as well. So it's a nice area of interest for a potential wave C. And when we look at the time over here, then this scenario definitely has some probability. So keep your eye open for a potential rejection and an impulse to the downside, which then can potentially be a wave C to the downside for then again, a move to the upside for wave five. If we then zoom out and we look at the bearish medium time frame scenario, we're looking at a wave 5 that already ended. In this scenario, we then have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3 to the 3.618, wave 4 in very, very shallow. The 0 0.236 to the 05 is the common target. The 146 is a very rare target for 4. And also, if this is your wave 4 over here, besides the structure, which is not great, it is incredibly short in time compared to a wave two. So lower probabilities for this scenario, wave five in, and then this move to the downside is not a WXY, but it has to be some sort of an impulsive structure to the downside, where if we then zoom in to the lower time frames, we're looking for a double one, two, one, two in green, one, two in blue, continuation to the downside in a bigger wave three. Common targets for a wave two in blue is between the 05 and the 786, which is between 36.1 and 36.9K. Currently grinding against the golden pocket, as you can see, which always is an area of resistance or support, always interesting as well. But for a double one, two, we have not seen any bearish CVD divergences between important pivots between the high over here and the lower high of two between this green wave two and the lower high being made over here currently if you zoom out on CVD it's all like bigger bullish CVD divergences and if we are really looking for a one two one two you really want to see bigger bearish CVD divergences as well besides if this is a wave one, two, and this is your lower degree one and two, then preferably your lower degree one and two in blue. Reason it's a lower degree, by the way, is because it is a sub degree count of wave three, one, two, three, four, five in green, and then a one, two, three, four, five to finish wave three over here. Preferably a lower degree count is shorter in time and price than a higher degree Elliott wave structure, right? So preferably this wave one is longer in price and time than the second wave one. But clearly this is much longer in price and time. So that is not what you like to see, especially in time, by the way, right? So that is not preferred for this scenario, also lowering the probabilities for this scenario. Of course, we continue to observe what happens locally, but hey, it's all about probabilities. If we then finally zoom into the micro here, then you can see I have two counts color-coded on my chart, a purple count and a blue count. Now let's first look at the blue count. So we then have a one, two, three is already in. We're looking for a flat in a four and then a wave five. Reason why, if this is the high, we're going to be looking for a flat in a four, meaning this is then a one, two, three, four, five, is because this move to the upside here so far looks very three wavy so as long as this high is not taken if price moves down we have to think about a flat an a b c to the downside reach the target area for wave four the 302 and the 05 which also is in confluence with this order block over here which is very nice indeed that we passed earlier today for then a wave five towards the upside now the invalidation for this being a wave four is price hitting the 0 0.618, sitting here at 35.7K. And another invalidation is if price would move above this high, because then we start to create a five wave structure. Now, another uh, count that you see in purple, one, two, three, four, five, means wave five is already in. The reason I also don't like this one is because again, this is a three wave structure. So preferably wave five is not yet in, in both of the counts, we still have higher prices to come, where then of course an interesting target area is going to be this area of resistance between 36.7 and 36.9, 37k, for then potentially a rejection to the downside, right? Where we're looking for either a wave B or a wave two, depending on the scenario we're looking for, and then eventually a bigger one, two continuation up in a three, or we're looking for an A, B, C. Of course, if price keeps pumping, it keeps pumping. We are not complaining, right? Now, finally, then the CVD divergences over here, we had bullish CVD divergences at the lows and currently here locally also bullish CVD divergences, quite messy price action here for a while. But as you can see over here, it's been actually grinding on top of the target box. And to be even more specific, it's actually been grinding on top 
of that daily naked point of control. Acted as resistance, moving down. Support, 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 moving towards the upside. Losing this daily naked point of control, we can look for that wave four basically, right? But if we look at the CVD divergences, we got some bullish ones here. And you can see, if I zoom in, higher low in price, but look at the yellow line, lower low here in yellow, right? So there's some bullish CVD divergences on yellow at the moment, and we have to wait and see what happens. If price takes the high, the bullish CVD divergences have played out, and if price moves to the downside here before taking this high, then they are invalidated. If we then finally look at the probabilities of the different scenarios, then currently the probabilities are higher for price to find continuation to the upside, where if we look at the scenarios on the medium time frame, the bullish scenario is the higher probability scenario, either four in or yet a four to make. But if we have to look at this wave four, then preferably for me at the moment, the higher probability Elliott wave scenario is a flat structure in an ABC, which I showed over here. So wave A, wave B, wave C, give this yellow wave four at the moment, like three, four, and then five, give this wave four more time, also in comparison to the wave two that we have down here, which then works nicely. A flat is also common in a wave four for then continuation to the upside. But in both of the cases, even if we are looking for four being in and then a five, in both cases, you're going to be looking for the high to be taken. So that is something we're going to be looking for. And the question is, how does it then take the high, right? Because at the moment, the bullish scenarios do have a higher probability scenario or is higher probability with a WXY over here. With the bearish scenarios and this one, two, less probabilities, no bearish CVD divergences as well. And on the micro, we're also looking for higher. Even if price would dip down, we are looking for a move to the upside into the blue box. So I hope this video was helpful or valuable to you. Please check out the most recent educational video I've made about the best trading indicator you can use, in my opinion, which is the CVD. And for now, thanks for watching and subscribing, and I'd like to see you at the next one. Bye-bye.